I want to share this car with you. It's a pretty special car, 1957 Ford. Fairlane 500, they call it. Yep, it doesn't say Fairlane 500 on it anywhere, but uh, in the uh, books it sure spells it out pretty clearly. This is a um, four-door sedan with the optional Thunderbird V8. So that is the 312 cubic inch Y block with the four barrel carburetor. Now what you're looking at here is an original unrestored 57 Ford. This car has never been repainted. It's never been rebuilt. It's never been anything other than um, well kept inside by the family that bought the car brand new in 1957 in San Rafael, California. It's still their car. It is not my car. Um, I know some of you think that uh, I've got way too many cars. In fact, <laughs> Uh, the county sent me a letter saying we understand you're storing cars and you have too many and we need to come out and talk to you about what you're doing with cars. So whoops, I don't know whose uh, uh, toes I stepped on, but uh, I got to uh, invite the county out for an inspection soon. Darn it. You know, I'm just a hobby. I'm a hobbyist. I love the cars. They're wonderful. Really enjoy being able to help preserve them and uh, train guys that don't know how to take care of them in how to take care of their old cars. I do appraisals and pre-purchase inspections and I definitely share all the knowledge that I can with everybody or anybody that's uh, interested in knowing more about the old cars. So let's talk about this one here. And I've got my, my helpers here. There's uh, Jesse, he's a Maine Coon, and there's Bailey. He's uh, not a Maine Coon, <laughs> so <laughs> I think he's a Tonkinese is what he is. But anyway, they're out here to see what's up. And um, again, this is one of the new cameras, so I haven't really done much with these yet. We'll see how this works out. Okay, the Ford. Um, the uh, as I said, it's in an unrestored car, so you're going to see patina. <laughs> you're going to see degradation of uh, certain things, and uh, it is what it is. Now, yeah, the, the Ford guys are going to say, what's that uh, uh, non-original hose on there? Back in the um, early 70s in the state of California, the cars were re required to have a crankcase ventilation system installed and this is one of those early installations of that system um, done by different mechanics done by different parts uh, providers that's what they did they basically cut a hole in the valve cover and added that uh, hose on there with the precursor of a PCV valve here and the vacuum that goes to the manifold so in a restoration or um, or not, you could actually remove that. Wouldn't be that difficult to take that back to what it was. And uh, but again, is, is it original, unrestored, and untouched? Um, yeah, that's that's where it is. So we'd probably want to really think about what you're going to do to change it. And other little things like the blue voltage regulator cover over there. That's not original either. And and different, you know, the the, the battery cables and and maintenance stuff but there we go you can see the car has the optional windshield washer on it with the C clear um, bag over there nice original stuff still has um, the 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 seal for the hood across here and the rubber is actually still soft it's not hard We're going to notice a little bit of the um, oil vapors out of the breather that would come up and, and uh, put the little stain on the hood from the blow-by or 
well, you know, there's crankcase paper, so that's blow-by, basically. So we've got that. Uh, let's close the hood. Okay. And start the walk around. Looking at the chrome and the fit, finish, very good. This is original car, not ever damaged, not ever painted. Touched up, yes. Somebody at one time has tried to touch up little spots here with some kind of white paint that didn't quite match. And you can see that for sure. And the things that'll happen uh, with the way that the bodies move and twist as you're going down the road. You see the little chips and cracks in the paint. Let's move around here to the trunk so I can show you inside there. Jesse's helping me here. He likes to keep an eye on what's going on. Inside the trunk, have a little bit of, of um, age staining going on, but basically dry back here. Original jack, spare, hold down, all correct original stuff, and clean and dry back here. No evidence that it's ever had body work or repairs done to the car at all. Okay, close the trunk lid. Jesse's not in there, the cat's out. The original badge, trunk lock here, just fine. Um, California DMV in 1963 issued the black plate. Prior to that, it was a yellow plate with black letters. In 1963, you were required to replace your yellow plate with this black plate. So that's why you don't see a yellow with black numbers. They were required to change on the cars. Body, very straight, original, nice fit. Very bright chrome, stainless is excellent, nice car. So let's look in the back seat. Let's open the door, look in the door jam, door panels, rubber, excellent, soft. Uh, the car has not really been cleaned, it, it got washed. It's been stored inside for a long time. Dry storage inside the family's building. Okay, there's one door. <clears throat> the original uh, lifeguard design decal there, that's a reflective sticker. And some early loop stickers on the side there. If you look, well, I'm not going to get in there too close. <clears throat> some people get a little nervous about showing VIN numbers. but. The VIN code shows that it's a 312 car and uh, uh, California assembly line built. Okay, I'm going to go in here a little bit. I'm going to look at the odometer. And what you're looking at, if you can read it, 37,179. I'll have to ask the family uh, if that's 137 or what. But I can't, I can't uh, confirm that. <clears throat> Look at all the hardware, the screw um, condition, the condition of the plating. Again, this is what an original low mile, dry, clean car looks like. The 57 Ford police car that's on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you remember, I might have mentioned that uh, we had to 
find a way to save these on the police car because they are exposed to the weather and they get dried out and cracked. This car, they're still soft and in great shape. Again, here's the passenger door, same way. All the hardware is correct, bright, clean, not rusted. And <laughs> we've got uh, everything intact the way it's supposed to be. The bottoms of the doors are excellent. Padded dash, the rub, the uh, uh, foam underneath the padded dash is gone, just like uh, most of the foam in these cars of the era didn't last long. It all disintegrated, but the dash is not <laughs> cracked. It's just that the foam is gone. So again, people say, um, listen to that door close. Uh, that's how they're supposed to close, and all four doors close the same way. All right, now let's see if I can get a little shot underneath the car. Not sure how this is gonna work out. You can see some spider webs from sitting in the storage, but looking at the rocker panels, there's no damage, there's no rust. Solid car. All right. Should we go for a ride? See what an original, unrestored, tight 57 Ford runs like and goes down the road. Let's give it a try. I think Bailey and Jesse are out of the way. Okay, the Ford guys know what I just did. I'll tell you what I just did. Ford has a neutral safety switch that is actually a neutral safety switch. It will only start in neutral. It will not crank in park or any of the other gears. You have to put it in neutral to start it. So of course you'd want your foot on the brake and be careful when you do that. Okay. Fordomatic 312. It's late late in the day. So if I turn to the left, we won't have the sun in our face. And here we go. Remember that this car has been in storage for a really long time and uh, has bias ply tires on it. So they're pretty thumpy. The tires may or may not uh, warm up and, and start uh, turning true, but it's usually best to replace the tires that are this old. today well it was a cars and coffee get together had about 35 cars there and uh, I took this Ford and a few other cars again um, I'm just one of the car guys around here and I got a lot of cars that I help keep running and I'm happy to do it for everybody that enjoys the old cars and wants to see them on the road it's really unfortunate that uh, County Code Enforcement has sent me a letter <laughs> saying you got too many cars and 
what are you doing and why and why aren't you a business i'm not I, just my hobby so i guess we can't get away with just having our hobbies anymore should i just start collecting stamps or what so i don't know we'll see how it works out but i appreciate everybody that watches the videos and um I sure like to share everything you know all the cars and everything with people that are interested hope that the hobby continues when guys like me aren't around anymore to enjoy it so there you go thanks for watching